you do the other, they're all going to end up like big improper things again, most of them, I think, and you'll have to reduce them down. These have common denominators. Doesn't matter. When you're multiplying, common denominators aren't a thing. That's only if you're adding. Don't you just multiply the top and the bottom? You multiply the top, the numerators across, and you multiply the denominator. But if it's 12, you multiply 12 times 12, and you get 144. You can't just say 12 is the denominator. Yeah, I know. You have to multiply the bottom. 12 times 12 is 144. But you have, if it's a mixed, baby cakes, if it's a mixed number, you have to change it to improper, remember? You can't do multiply the mixed numbers and multiply the fractions. Remember, we discovered that doesn't work. Okay, sorry. Zeke was asking a question. He was at ECP this morning. So here we go. Math, DJ. Is the thing they have in common? Even the fact that they use gunpowder in Minecraft, but it's because I know that was actually sulfur technically. It, it, it says it's sulfur in Minecraft, but that's sulfur. I'm pretty sure it's sulfur from Pirates, right? I don't know why we're talking about it. What, uh, he read what the name of this week's lesson is, and so he's talking about he's using um, his personal experience. He's making a self connection with what is on. The screen. So I followed where I followed what he where he was coming from. Um, okay, so what DJ was talking about, it says, what do fireworks, rubber, and silly putty have in common? And DJ said, Well, I don't know about the rest of them, but fireworks have gunpowder in them. Um, or he said sulfur. Think about we talked about last week, um, a type of acid sulfuric acid was a very strong acid. It was the one that was like eating the Dr. Pepper can like instantly like eating it up really quickly um so something that has that strong of a chemical reaction do you think it would be strong enough like dj said if it's a part of gunpowder do you think it would be strong enough to cause um a fireworks explosion yeah possibly yeah, it could, cause combustion. could cause combustion all right wow big science word um hi you're right here yeah um very quickly because we're gonna get going and you're gonna miss all right, guys, so, um, but right now you're going to do science. All right, guys, here we go. So let's watch and figure out what Doug has to say. Parker, will you hit the lights since you're right there? Hi, it's Doug. You live in a world today where you're surrounded by a huge range of materials or the stuff that things are made of. There's wood, but there's also plastic. There's rubber, there's metal, glass, and cement. Now, you know that wood comes from trees, and trees just naturally grow in the ground. But most materials, like plastic, concrete, and glass, these don't grow like trees. And you can't just dig them out of the ground either. They don't form naturally. Take windows, for example. Before windows could be invented, someone had to create glass. New materials have to be created. Where do new materials come from? The answer is chemical reactions, the mixing of different substances that cause some kind of change. In an earlier mystery, I showed you many different kinds of reactions that acids do, fizzing, color changes, dissolving. But there's something I haven't told you about chemical reactions. Anytime there's a reaction, a new substance is made. That might sound crazy, so let me show you one of the acid reactions again. You saw metal and how it dissolved when you poured acid on it. You don't see a new substance yet. As you do this, it just looks like the metal disappears. But when you wait a couple days, the acid will eventually evaporate, like all liquids do, and you'll find that there's something left. It looks like little grains of something some kind of powder. Now, this particular powder is what you get if you react copper metal with acid. What if you try this with other metals? Well, other metals also make a powdery substance when you react them with acid. Like, here's the powder you get by reacting aluminum with acid. And here's the powder you get when you react steel with acid. And silver. These powders may not look very exciting. I'm sure the first person that made these new substances didn't think very much of them, but they're definitely a new substance. They're not metal, 
and they're not acid. They have a new property. They're powdery. It's some kind of powder. And that's not the only thing that's different about them. It was discovered that they have yet another property, which I can reveal to you by placing a little bit of one of these powders in a flame. Check this out. Now, it's kind of hard to see that. So let's get the lights turned low here. Whoa, this powder turns the flame green. So the acid and the metal reacted to create this new substance, this powder that has an interesting new property. When you put it in a flame, the flame turns green. But this was just the powder from reacting copper with acid. Let me show you the powders from the reaction of other metals in acid. Like here's one of the powders from reacting the metal lead with acid. Whoa. So you see, it turns the flame blue. And here's a powder that makes the flame purple. And here's one that turns the flame red. And so on. The alchemists were fascinated by this. They weren't trying to discover this. Their goal was to create gold. This didn't create gold. Instead, it created completely new substances, some kind of new types of powder, which could change the color of a flame. Could this be used in any way? Take a minute to think about anything that you could do with these powders. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I heard um, Sean say signal fires, but does it matter what color a signal fire no, is? No. Um, I mean, now a different color fire would draw my attention more than a regular fire. However, what else? Lily, what do you think? Lily's going straight for the fireworks that they were mentioning at the beginning. Any Kendall's giving her a thumbs up. Kane. Those little packets that changes the color of fire oh, yeah. into your little campfires. Okay, so Kane said you can actually buy little packets that you can put in your fireplace or campfires that'll change the color of the fire. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. All right. Okay. DJ. Uh, you, I, I actually, you can definitely, you make rubber a different color with that, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure you can also put silly putty in, like, with that. Yeah, okay, so, fire show, okay. Cam would pay to see a fire show, interesting. Like, maybe the guy that has, like, the fire batons or whatever, definitely, I think that would be they cool. Um, DJ said he thinks maybe you could also use these powders to color other things. So even though they look white, maybe when you mix them, not only with fire, but maybe if you mix them with rubber, it would turn the rubber that purple color or that blue color. So maybe those powders like have a type of a dye component to them, even though they look white. Dye? Maybe. Okay. Wait, what if they put those in food dye? Put it. Put these powders in food dye to make the food dye different colors. Maybe. Well, would your fruit light on I fire? can't believe Jason didn't think open? of that one. I did. Yes. I yes. said food dye. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, he did. yeah, okay. He did. Of course. All right then. All right. So let's find out. So did you have any ideas for how those powders could be used? You may not have. And to be honest, it's not obvious. But some early Chinese inventors saw these powders and had a new idea. What if we made explosions that shot up into the air and made colored sparkles? Does that sound familiar? These powders are what make fireworks. Each color you see in a firework is caused by one of these different powders. The alchemists had discovered these special powders by reacting different metals with acids. When the alchemists had discovered that, they hadn't been trying to create new substances. Any reactions they were doing, they were hoping would create gold. It turns out they never succeeded in creating gold. They tried for hundreds of years. It just never worked. But by trying to do that, that led the alchemists to do something that no one else had done before, to mix different substances. And so to discover the idea of a reaction where two substances come together and make something new with different properties. You've heard me call that a chemical reaction. In fact, that's a phrase we use in honor of the alchemists from the chem part of the word alchemist. 
And any of the substances that can cause a chemical reaction, like acids, we call those things chemicals, a word you probably have heard before. So it's because of the alchemists discovering the idea of doing chemical reactions that we accidentally discovered all kinds of wonderful new substances. Not only the discovery of how to make fireworks, but also new materials, substances like rubber and soap and paper and cement and plastic. Take rubber, for example. Now, besides things like rain boots, erasers, and hoses, without rubber, there'd be no tires for cars and trucks. And there'd be no rubber gloves for medical doctors and nurses to wear during surgery so that patients don't get infections. Rubber is an amazingly important material, but the only reason we have rubber is because of someone accidentally discovering a chemical reaction that creates it. In this case, funny enough, it was discovered that if you mix acid with the white milky sap of a South American tree, that's how you get rubber. That's how rubber was invented. Let me show you what I mean. This is the South American tree I'm talking about. Now, if you cut the tree, it drips this white liquid. This is a sap. It's called latex. Some people collect this in a bucket here and then bring it here into a laboratory and you mix it with acid. And then you have rubber. Now here, you can see it get pulled out of the container. And then after washing it off, isn't that strange? Rubber is this tough and bouncy material. And it comes from a chemical reaction between two liquids, latex and acid, that makes rubber. Lots of different materials were discovered this way, simply by mixing two or more chemicals and seeing if those two chemicals reacted to make a new substance. Now often, strong acids are needed to make new substances. The reason for that is because they're so reactive. Almost any substance you put in acid will react with the acid to form some kind of new substance. But acids aren't the only chemical that can create new substances. In fact, there are some chemicals that are safe to handle and can create new substances. See if you can discover one in today's activity. In today's activity, you're going to take different chemicals, mix them together, and watch for a reaction that makes something new. The something new that you're going to make is this stuff, goo. I'm sure at some point in your life you've played with goo before. Maybe you've made something out of this, Play-Doh. Just about every kid has. Play-Doh is a type of goo. Or maybe you've stretched and bounced this stuff. It's called Silly Putty. Or maybe you've played with an ooey, gooey substance called Gak, a goo that makes, let's say, an unmentionable noise. All of these are various kinds of goo. They all have different properties. Some of them ooze and drip. Some of them bounce and stretch. Some are slimy. Some are dry. But with all of them, in order to make these goos, people had to do a chemical reaction reacting two or more chemicals together to get a new material that has different properties than the chemicals you started with. Take Silly Putty, for example. Silly Putty was made in the 1940s when scientists tried to create a new type of rubber. They mixed a certain kind of acid with a slippery sort of oil. The acid and oil reacted chemically, forming not rubber, but Silly Putty, a new, stretchy, bouncy goo that kids back in the day loved to play with. But all of the great goo inventors, they aren't a thing of the past. People are still discovering chemicals that make gooey materials. And you could be one of those people. Today, you'll experiment by mixing chemicals together to find a chemical reaction that makes goo. You'll have five different chemicals you'll try mixing in different ways to see what happens. Then, if you have time, you can try one of our favorite goo recipes and make a batch of goo that you can keep. 
I'll walk you through the steps one by one. Ready? Let's get going. I, I mean, let's get going. If you're in a class, find a partner. partner. If you're working alone, you're working alone, alone. Oh, you're oh, 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 step, press partner. the arrow press on the right. Yeah, okay. So clean off your tables and you will be working with table partners. Um, Parker. Come back here, buddy. Come on back. Jason, you are going to join Sophie and Kaylin. Because there's only two of them. All of us are going to work together, right? And then you girls are going to work together, yes. We have to do the back of our. Yes, I said you need to do two. Only do two, though. Only two. All right. I love Kaylin and Sophie already have their table cleaned off. Lily, Kendall, Riley, and Jody have their table cleaned off. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Be ready to listen, please. Cover your workspace, Cover your workspace with, newspaper with newspaper or plastic. Or plastic. We don't need any. Get these supplies. Get these supplies. You'll get more later. You'll get more later. All right, hang on. Uh, everybody, send. Um, hang on. Listen carefully before you start moving. Each group. I'm is going to need Parker Poo give everybody one of these. Um Sean give everybody every group one of these. Um and the, every table gets one. Okay, we get two. Um now thank you. Um now you need to send one person from your table by on the sink. Okay, uh, whoa, freeze. I need, just like last week, we're going to be pushing to get this done in time. And if you want to make the slime, then you better be zipping it up right now. Yes, ma'am. One person from every table. Go get a cup marked with a W. It's the closest to the actual sink. Do not spill. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so each straw. Okay. Class, class. Yes. Zip it. Get the page. Get the page with the dark boxes and your sheet protector. And your sheet protector. Let's do a practice Let's do a practice drop in these boxes, in these right, boxes here right here on the worksheet. Now, now listen, listen, listen. Whoa, 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 whoa freeze. To the top of the water. Of the water. Then, then press a finger, press over, a the finger end. over the end. This time we're actually measuring because the amount is going to matter. So your straw should have a line on it. That's the end you're going to dip in. Want just one, drop, just on the one drop on the square. All right, let Take me get turn. you guys. All right, you guys. Taking your backpack. All right. Beep, beep. Oh, it's not. More water. It's yeah, not deep more enough water. for the okay, go get go put more water in there. That means that it probably aren't deep enough. They're great. We just have more because this is a cup I think that's enough for this is where you should take it. We need we need to take this back in and put it back in. Practice quickly. Do you guys understand what he said about you're going to measure the water, put the the line even with the top of the water? Okay. Yeah, are you sure? Everybody is on the way. Did everybody get a chance to practice? There are several practice squares, so make sure everybody in your group gets a chance to practice. Measure, try and get that full amount. Okay, guys? Perfect. All right. We're moving on. Five, four, three, two, one. I love that Kaylee's ready. Sean, quit playing. 
If we're not, hey, Margaret, fix your chair. All right, now, you guys are going to have to scooch so I can get a camera in between. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, let me pen so I can see exactly what you see. Real quick. Hang on, guys. Okay, so they can kind of see. Um, move the paper. You guys move it closer so they can see. Zeke, quit horsing around. You complained that Sean was doing it, and then you did the same. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get the rest of the water out of it. So, okay, so here's the deal. If you guys were doing it correctly, should I have one little bubble and one humongous bubble? No, no, it's because Sean moved it and it all tipped over yeah. into there. Okay. All right. I wasn't playing with it. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Get these supplies. Get these supplies. I'll get all those. All right. right. Now. Wait, I'm going to send somebody Maybe. to the back table. Parker's got it. Wait. Oh, and hang on. Now, oh, class. Oh, yeah. Listen carefully. Last week, you guys got your straws mixed up, and we're using the same straw in all the different liquids. Each cup gets its own straw. So right now, those of you that are still at your table, take that straw, put it in the water, keep that straw there. Every cup you pick up going forward will have its own straw. All right. You guys are going to pick up eight. You need to have a practice space. Okay, guys, the guys, they are labeled on the sides. Right now, your team is getting milk and vinegar. They <laughs> <laughs> drink the milk. You really like squid words. That was not me. It was too full. That was overfilled. Parker, you made me cry. Yeah, I know. That was overfilled. It was overfilled. Miss Babs, do you have extra milk after we're done? I broke my eye. <laughs> so when I'm done, I'm gonna take a droplet. Does it look perfect? Right now! I, I broke my eyes. Come get me! Look, the toothpicks! Right. Right. Actually, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. way. <laughs> Alright, you need 10. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to avoid it. I need another person from each group to come get it. No, it's not. Five. 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 Nine. Some milk. Ten. Does anybody need two more? Nine. Ten. Here's one more. The trickster. I'm the mixer, so these are all mine. The cures. Is that milk? Can I drink some? What? I want some milk. Mine down. Mine down. My dad wanted milk for me. My dad went to the store and get milk for me. Never came back. What? It reminds me of him. What did you say? My dad went to go to the store and get milk, but he always came back with more children. <laughs> it's baking soda and water mixed tea. Can I drink it? No, did you hear? Uh, did you hear just hear Chong? Hello, my name is yeah. so excited. Okay, him. my dad he went to the grocery store. He never came back. He came back with more kids. <laughs> No, that's why you should be mad. That's why I have to know like people with less chunky milk. Papa Chucky milk. My dad came back with milk chai to have Chucky water. My dad came back to the store to get milk instead of that water. No, it's good. Hey, yo, my dad went to the store to get milk, but instead of that water. Come back one more time and now you're going to lose two children. Like, give me the eye. Yeah. Yeah. I am the mixer. Mixer is my job, guys. We're your kids. You have to put it exactly the same as Doug. Bro, you're doing it. Right here, it. It's... Okay, did I put it right here? Put it right here. Was, put it right here. It yeah, I'm the mixer. That's glue. Class, class. It's glue. Yes, yes. You're done talking. Make sure you have glue. Everybody got glue. G yes. for glue. Yes. Everybody got B for borax. Yes. Everybody got S for soda solution. Yes. 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 Milk. Yeah. Yep. Vinegar. Yeah. Yep. We don't have milk. We have toothpaste. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
front table, did somebody get toothpicks? Do we have ten? Yeah, we have ten. One, okay. two, three, right four, here. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Parker, we already one, have two. Three, on the first box, let's drop this. Stop picking so it has. Just like this. Just like this. Then use a glue to mix them. If you mess up a box, right. do that test. Practice box. Drop her up now. Remember, you're measuring. Go down to the line. I got that. Milk and baking Wait, is soda. Milk? Is Z, is this milk? Milk yeah. and yeah. baking soda. No, go to the line. Uh, That's what I'm doing. You guys. <laughs> Here, wait. Do I put baking soda? Is so uh, baking soda? Milk baking soda. And then baking soda. Is this baking soda? Uh, no. no. S for soda. S for soda. So M for milk and S for soda. So Here we go. I'm trying to mix it up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it turned blue. No, it doesn't. Look. Oh, yeah. It turned white. Yeah. No, you dropped a little bit of water. Or a little bit of water. So put like half a dip in there. Yeah, Parker, you definitely said sure. Like, half a dip. Ooh, look at that. It didn't really do anything. Yeah, but look. I said no dip, sure. All right. Okay, 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 buddy. No flips, Sherlock. No flips. Ooh. Flipping your nails, Sherlock. You guys see this? Oh, they're going to see it now. <laughs> They're not gonna see it. <laughs> Their eyes are already unmounted. I thought if it was on, it would be red. Oh, it is red. Right. <laughs> Why did laugh again? <laughs> I didn't know it was pinned. Hello, guys. Spider hand. <laughs> Did the mixture? Oh, come on! Like when I do the camera, or I'm gonna call them. They're messing with the camera. They're making things. I will come over here. Okay. Will that straighten you guys up, real quickly? It wasn't them. It was me. I'll hold them in. It was Sean. He just admitted it. I just admitted it. Don't let them. Uh, don't let them get in trouble for my sake. Was there a reaction? If there was, if there was describe, describe it. it. Remember, sometimes yeah. nothing will happen because not all chemicals react. Don't let it turn. All right, in that first box, you're gonna write what happened. <laughs> we were the if wrong anything way. happened, right? You're, you're the dude, not the did something new form? Or, no. Did anything new form from this chemical reaction? No. Guys, what did it do? Did it do anything? Did it do anything? Um, I don't think it. I think it just kind of looks like yes. watered down milk now. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. The virtual friends a little bit better. I'm gonna ve oh gosh, that water sliding everywhere. Well, I was gonna turn this around, but it's like stuck. Is water just for testing? I don't remember. There's no thing. Yeah. Uh, Sam, I'll do a uh, borax and you do. Uh, yeah. No, Parker can do it. There's a little bit of a layer. I'm the mixer. Okay. Yeah, you're the. I'm doing borax. Right. I yeah, you can I do the ones up here. You do the one. You do that. No, keep going. I do that. All the boxes. And I do the ones. Remember, put them off of the camera. Mix them with a cream. Yes, and you're not doing it. You're writing it. Write the results. You're doing it. Yeah. You can mess up a box. You can test. No, no, no. Come on, Mary. Milk. Guys, milk. Remember that S is soda, the baking soda. B is Borax. Okay, here we go, Borax. Okay, you guys talk out loud and make sure you're telling them what you're doing. Okay, okay so we're putting B, the Borax right here right now. B stands for Borax. I think you dropped some for a little more. Yeah, or you could just... Well, then S stands for Soda. Soda. <laughs> Sorry. Stop playing with the Z. Yeah, I'm not, I'm That's enough. enough. Okay, yeah, there we go, guys. All right, and then I'll put the board out. Guys, mix it. No, you put the, you put the milk in. Yeah, put the milk in. All right, put the milk. If some of your piles start to get kind of big and they're 
they're bleeding into another before you start your second row. If you have written your results, uh, you get a paper towel. Why not one row before I'm you go in? Miss Beth, can you pin? Miss Beth, can you pin yourself so we can see what we're doing? It doesn't look like anything. No, it looks like the same. Let me add some more milk. It's milk. less watered down, though. Oh, no, Zeke put two bakes. You're supposed to do the next one now. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, okay, yeah. blue. Um, yeah, make sure that they can see. See, see, see. I'm going to shoot it. No, the water. I need to walk in There's a glare on it. I need to scoot it this way. Is that glue? Yeah, it's glue. Yeah, it's glue. Yeah, it's glue. It's glue, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, I no. ruined it. I got this. You got it? Yes. Yeah, Did milk Can you mix it like put it back in? Oh, we are good. There you go. The is not. Yeah, I, you okay, now. Dab that up. Dab the loop. Dab the loop. Okay, now what do we mix it with? Like water water. Hey, was that milk or glue? Oh, right, that's milk. That's glue. And we're that's glue, milk. and now we're putting in milk, guys. <laughs> Papa tried to Papa tried to Papa tried to Nothing. Nothing, bro. Papa Chucky milk. Dude, don't mix it, bro. Bro. You should have some. I'm mixing it. Why? It's not going to do anything. Milk's a base. Parker, look what you did. That was on you. Papa Chucky took the pain away. You guys need some stress solution. I need some vinegar. I'll do this. I'll do it. Everybody had it. Reactions yet? Not yet. You're the writer. Oh yeah. That's that's no milk. Milk. This is milk. Oh. oh. oh you ready, guys? Mm. It's it yes, it it's, it's not. It looks weird. It's like chunky. Wait, now. one minute. <laughs> yeah, it is. Get that close up. That close up. That good, guys? Is that good? You guys good? It's like, yeah, it, it, I'm just going to say it's split up. Do you need to, like, talk closer to it it's so they can hear you? It's chunky now. Yeah, can you see that? It looks like sheep wool. All right. It, it's, I'm just, like, chunky now, Miss Fab. It's chunky now. I'm, I'm just saying it's split up. up. It's, um, it's fun to play with. Fab, did you know once I had, it reminds me of something. All right, like, it looks like every group has All right, start. guys, yes, we're going to remember Zeke. Move on yeah. to the next row. Baby soda now. Yeah, I would get a paper towel to clean yours off. Got him. Got him. I don't think yeah. you don't it's, got it. It's it's not bounty. <laughs> It's not bounty. It doesn't. It's not the quicker picker upper. It's not bounty. <laughs> yeah, it's not bounty. It's not gonna work. Bad bounty. You got that home? We don't have baking soda. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. It's right here. No, no. This baking soda's is S. No. Are we using the same toothpicks? Cause I don't know which one's which. Which one should you use? What is that? Got this. Baking soda. Ready, guys? With what? Yeah, yeah. With what? With wait, borax. No, borax. Yes, borax and baking soda. <laughs> Nothing happened. Here, wait, no, I have to put borax in. I haven't put borax in. I, I put borax in. I put borax in. You did? Yeah, it's, isn't that that one? Let's try to make it better. Yeah, borax. Yeah. It didn't do anything. Mix it up. <gasps> I'm mixing and mixing and mixing. It's not It's pretty red. <laughs> right, what doing? Oh, no, that's just the glare from Parker. It's not like a Dude. horse. I'm going to go to the next, guys. Next. Right, next, next, next. Glue time. Next, next, next. Glue. Okay. We are doing Wait, glue. I'm putting in the bag. Let's go. Glue. glue. Hold on, let me put it in the bag instead first. We are doing glue. All right, we got that. Oh, oh, come on, oh, try mix, try mix, 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 mix it. Oh, right, guys. Oh my, mix oh, it. It, it oh, like has a hole. It, Sean, mix it. No, look, mix it, Sean. No, Sean, just mix it. What's what? It? What it mix with that? It looks like an egg white now. Dude, it looks like beaten egg white. Can you guys see that? Beaten egg white. Okay, close see, up I'm on not that. trying to be silly. Parker, doesn't it look like beaten egg white? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a good close up? Right, no, that's that that's how you cook. Alright, there. No, like, wait. 
Like yeah, you gotta beat him. Like a spoon? All right, we no. got that. All right. I missed it too much. All right, write that down. What happened? Like, yeah, man, write that down, boy. All right, Becky, shut up. No, no, Parker, wait a second. I don't think that really anything happened because when we added the glue, it just, like, turned water. All right. No, and it didn't turn You need to pay attention, Sam. All right, come on, guys. All right, add the vinegar. All okay. right, on the count of three. Hurry up, get the vinegar. Get the vinegar, homie. We made All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a look, it's it's, it's so it's oh busy. my god. Guys, they can throw it so in fun. the thing. They said it made slime, but ours didn't. Ours didn't make slime. Put more glue in there, boy. Yeah, put more glue in there. Put, you didn't put enough glue. That's why oh, I like this one. What's this one, dude? It looks like soda. Yeah, yeah I know. It looks like Sprite. Or like carbonation, yeah. Let's see now. Guys, borax and glue yeah. makes... Uh, slime. Yeah, we didn't make slime yet. Yeah. No, you haven't made the slime yet. Keep going. It's borax and glue. Here, okay, Sean, borax. Oh, hey, borax. Oh, borax and here, Sean, you get. I mean, Sammy, you got this. You get the glue. You have to squeeze it. It makes the slime. How do you know? see? Yeah. Look, it's slime. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's slimy now. See. Oh, it's stuck to the slangy my yeah, yeah, Guys, we need more glue in it. It looks like a little squid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, glue Thank added. Right. Can I, I made slime. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Ready, guys? I'm about to mix it really good. Here, Colin, at the beginning of basketball. Hold it on the camera. Hold it on the camera. Close up. Zag the close up. What's up? All right. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, I want to touch on one. <laughs> no. We all get the touch, Sean. Yeah, we all get the touch, Sean. Huh? <laughs> all right, let's we'll make some new one. <laughs> we'll make some new one. Borax. Borax. And then we need I made the slime. Dude, borax and vinegar. Guys, keep going. All right, come on. Borax and vinegar. Alright, guys, finish up. Like two minutes and you guys be done with the Didn't do anything. Nope. Okay, ready? Wait, mix it. Mix it. It's nothing. Gonna yeah, nothing happen. happened. Okay, now let's do glue and vinegar. I feel like the dish one's gonna do something. Move, no, Sean. I got slime. We got more slime now. I don't want slime now. Sean, mix it up. Okay, ready, guys? Why did you put that in it? It was the it, it dropped. Putty. No. Is he more glue guy? Do you see that? Mixing nothing new. No. Oh, no. The only thing that happened on our experiment was the fizz and then the. Okay, can we put more? I want to make more slime. And the, and that one split up. Okay. Yeah, let's bring more putty. That's fun. I'll do two. I got this. More. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Is that glue? No, that's And then there was more. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's Carter Kent. Close the window. It's creepy fourth graders. Miss Babs. Miss Babs. Why are these brothers at the window? I don't care. I'll, I'll scare with my face. More glue. <laughs> you can scare anything. Good idea. Guys, we need more glue to it. <laughs> Yeah. Like literally, we got like Why does it make the middle name Wayne? Because it's the middle name. Why did you make Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne's the best. Yeah, go ahead and grab the paper towels and wipe your sheet off. Here we go. Oh, class. As you are wiping your sheet, I'm going to hit the next slide, so please listen. Bruce Wayne knows everything about this stuff. Yeah, Indy's rich. Yeah. All right, so what all did you get a reaction on? I don't sit here anymore. Because we got a reaction. I know we made slime. What made slime? Uh, borax and glue. Yeah. Yeah. All right, borax and glue. Um, Which one of them made something that looked carbonated like soda? Uh, vinegar and vinegar. The vinegar and baking soda. Um, One of them looked... um. What was the thing that happened on the top? Oh, the vinegar and the milk. What happened with the vinegar and the it milk, TJ? Like, it got chunky. It has like a grainy texture inside the vinegar and the milk. Okay, yeah, it kind of like separated. It looked kind of like coagulated. Yeah, I got it. Jason. It like got chunks of clouds. 
Like, okay, kind of like little yeah, clouds inside of it. Oh, yeah, and the other thing is it reminds me of the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Once I had to have this medicine and yeah. it had like chunks in it. Gross. All right, guys, I need everybody at a zero. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Some of you have done a good job listening and already wiped down your things and are sitting ready to learn looking right at me. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Have a seat ready to learn. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. Now that you know now which you chemicals make. All right, we've got exactly 15 minutes. Mystery goose starts with glue and borax. Mystery goose starts with glue and borax. Each person making a batch of mystery goose supplies. You got this. Helpless. All right, I don't know what he's talking Okay. If you want to make the goose, you need to come get a zip lock. Oh, gosh, you can each get your own zip lock. Oh, my God. Whoa. And then, why are we not going to I'm gonna zip lock and a paper plate. Okay. Oh, class, take the zip lock. Stop talking. Zip lock and paper plate to your desk. Can we? And then come back and line up here. If we don't want a straight line, no, a straight line, not like this the water. Can we get some out of all the way and stuff like that? Please. So actually, save the glue and the borax. If there's any left, save the glue mix and the borax. If you have glue mix or borax left, bring it back to me. Have your partner hold have your partner the baggie hold open, the baggie open, open pour in the half cup of borax, and the full cup of glue. Then, oh, half then cup of borax, full cup of glue. Sean, come back. Make sure. I am the test subject. Half cup of borax. 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 Half cup of Okay, What happened? Whoa! What did you do? He mixed all together. He mixed all He mixed Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Get out your goo. Get out your goo. All, all, all right. Now, Cam and Lucas, if you're still there, I'm really sorry. I made you guys just sit here this whole time. Um, if you want supplies to make slime, I can have some borax and glue up here for you. Um, it's like stuck all over me helping them get cups of it. Um, but just let me know if you want some supplies and I can put some up here in the lobby for you guys to make it. Um, it as you can see, it wasn't hard. Did you guys show them? I hate it. Let me see it, Parker. I so hate to hold this stuff, guys. It's so gross. Um, but anyway, they made some. Yucky. I hate it. We're going to pick up. What? Take this from me. Who put sanitizer on it, weirdo? All right. Goodbye. Um, all right. So we're done with science for today. We'll pick up here and finish up this lesson tomorrow. Have a little quizzy quiz. Uh, talk about what happened. So, you guys have a great day. We're going to recess. We're going to clean this mess up. I made a fart noise.